God's graffiti. God's graffiti. I learned my history from murals. These walls of hardened mud taught me more than the biased archives put together by the invaders. There is a formula for colonization. Step one, establish a good first impression. In a more the indigenous with gifts of precious extravagant foolery. Introduce a new technology that will gain your acceptance amongst the soon to be colonized. Step two, slowly, gently, then violently erase religion, tradition, and language. Substitute the native tongue for foreign dialect. Destroy and make examples of the strong, rebellious patriots who may valiantly defend their motherland. Step three, plant your flag atop their temples. Establish foreign societal culture and class. Divide the population into various segregated groups. Create a pyramid in which you and your kind are on the top peak. The rest are ugly and unworthy of your equality. This should lead to self-hate from loss of identity. And a new identity of inferiority should begin to spread among the indigenous natives. After this, colonization is complete. The inner city public school system never taught me that. I learned it from the public murals that Rivera and Siqueiros painted. And so I ignored the invaders' trickery of self-hatred. Instead of seeing my own skin as a sin, I embraced it. So please let the invaders know that although their methods have been successful, there are flaws in their formula. I learned my history from murals. God's graffiti. God's graffiti. This comes from the poetry of Carlos Ornelas, aka Charles Monroe, aka Please One.